Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Every workbook contains at least one worksheet by default. When working with a large amount of data, you can create multiple worksheets to help you organize your workbook and make it easier to find content. Now you can also group worksheets to quickly add information to multiple worksheets at the same time. And I'll take you through each of these one by one. But first, let's look at how to insert a new worksheet. First, locate and select the new sheet button. And then click on it and a new sheet, new blank worksheet will appear. Now you can also copy a worksheet. Now if you need to duplicate the content of one worksheet to another, Excel allows you to copy an existing worksheet. So let's say for example, in sheet one, I enter the current time. So I'll just press control, shift, semicolon. It will enter the current time, then I'll out of fill this. So I want to copy this information in sheet 1 to a new worksheet. All I have to do is right click the worksheet you want to copy. Then select move or copy from the worksheet menu. Then the move or copy dialog box will appear. So choose where you want the sheet to appear. So I want it to move to the end. Then check the box next to create a copy and click OK. And the worksheet will be copied here it is and it will have the same title as the original worksheet as well as a version number so this is sheet one version two you can see i have the original sheet one this is sheet one version two now to rename a worksheet if you want to rename a worksheet just right click on it then select rename type in the desired name so i can type in time then click enter and it will be renamed. Now you can also move a worksheet. Just click and drag the worksheet you want to move until a small black arrow appears where you want to move it. So I've moved shift one, sheet one from the beginning to the end. So that's how you click and drag. That's how you move a worksheet. I can move sheet two again. Just click and drag it, then release it. Now you can also change the worksheet tab color. You can change the worksheet tab color. So just right click the desired worksheet. So let's say I want to work to change the tab color of this. So I'll just select it, right click on it, then click on tab color. Then over here, I'll choose a different tab color. So let me go with the, yeah, with the dark blue. Select that. Now, um, the tab color will be changed, but the worksheet tab color is considerably less noticeable when the worksheet is selected. So if I select another worksheet, you'll see that the color will appear when the worksheet is not selected. Now you can also delete a worksheet. Just right click on the worksheet you want to delete and select delete. And that worksheet will be deleted from your workbook. Now, if you want to prevent specific worksheets from being edited or deleted, you can protect them by right-clicking the desired worksheet. So, right-click, then select Protect Sheets. Now, from here, you can enter a password, and then it will protect the worksheet and contents of locked cells. So, you can select locked cells, select unlocked cells, format cells. You can select whatever you want to protect, then click OK, and it will be protected. Now let's look at grouping and ungrouping worksheets. Now you can work with each worksheet individually or you can work with multiple worksheets at the same time. Worksheets can be combined together into a group and any changes made to one worksheet in a group will appear or will be made to every worksheet in the group. So over here I have uh, these two worksheets. So I want to group them. So first select the first worksheet you want to include then hold down control and select the other worksheets then once you're done the two worksheets will be grouped now they are grouped so if i make any changes to this so let's say i want to clear the contents on this so i want to clear the contents over here click select clear contents 
that that change will be made to every other sheet that I have grouped. As you can see, it has affected both sheets. Now, so once you're done and you want to ungroup, ungroup the worksheets, just right click in the group, then select ungroup sheets. And the groups will be ungrouped. The worksheets will be ungrouped.